Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, so it's time to keep going here. Again, my mage deck, it has a fair amount of two-cost stuff for me, considering that virtually none of it is actually, like, minion-killing spells. There's mostly a lot of fairy dragons and a couple other efficient two-cost minions. Then I have <laughs> the Mirror Entity. Uh, who's that guy? Mirror Entity Ethereal Arcanist combo, if you can call that a combo, when it's just two cards that one of them sucks without the other. A Mirror Entity is just fine on its own. In Arena, it's a fantastic card. Even in Constructed, it's a pretty darn good card. And played late in the game, there's a reasonable chance you'll get something fat that has that can attack before your opponent's copy, so that's pretty rough. I do have a fair amount of card drawing. For, I usually don't have as much card drawing in an arena deck. I have a Loot Hoarder, that's one. Acolyte of Pain will draw minimum one card, possibly two or three for a mage. And I have the. Uh, I also have the Arcane Intellect, that's another two cards, so about four cards of drawing there, and the Azure Drake. So I have, I have the potential to draw five cards in a game, which is not, like, tremendous. It's not like a fountain of cards, like some kind of brain geyser, but it is still... Fair amount of card drawing. I've got some reasonably strong three cost minions. Like the Tauren Warrior is very strong for a mage because, of course, if it doesn't get killed, I can shoot it and turn it into a 5 2 and swing for a lot of damage. Scarlet Crusader is pretty tough if you're playing against a non mage because the mage can just trivialize that shield. I don't know. I don't have that much fatness. I'm really just counting on the mage ability to swing things in my favor. So. I, I have enough things in here that are good that I have some confidence in the deck, but I really don't feel like this is one that's going to go all the way. Like, somewhere around 5th and 6th games, I'm going to start running into opponents that have crazy strong decks, and this is just a decent arena deck. Jade versus Hunter. Can't, can't call the Hunter's ability weak, but it doesn't help you control the battlefield the way mine does. I'm going to get rid of... You were kind of slow. I don't want you early game. That'd be a bad idea. And flame strike. So we're going to just hope I can get some other three or four costs or less things. I have a lot of two-cost minions in here. Yeah, that's that's fine. Sunfury Protector. Much better later in the game, but one of the reasons I chose her over some of the other good things I could have gotten is she is still a croc. Crocs are fine. Um... Use that, I could use that coin to get out one of my three cost guys, but no, I think I'm going to coin out the fairy dragon because he can't just arcane shock it. It's actually kind of annoying. And if he plays something that is a threat to it, I can frostbolt. So if he shoots me for two, I'm going to hit him back for more. Oh, well, they don't really want to play the Sun Fury Protector and give taunt to this thing. That seems like a bad idea. I might have to just to have more stuff on the field. Okay, that is fine. I could just hit him for four and let it go at that. Nope, I'm going to play Murloc Tidehunter. Awesome. Because now I'm not even in that... Now it's not even as good to multi-shot. He's going to kill one piece of crap either way. And, like, if he's lucky, he'll kill the Fairy Dragon. But that's for next turn anyway. What is he going to do now? I just got all the details about the, the upcoming expansion, if you want to call it that, for Hearthstone. That Nox Ramos, it's going to be like single player adventure mode, is how you get the cards and they're releasing over like a period of like four, like five weeks or something. It sounds fantastic and awesome, and the first cards they revealed are very interesting. So I should decide what I'm doing with my turn first. And I'm going to beat his face in. And play a Torn Warrior, because if unopposed, he's a death machine. Now, I'm in severe danger here, because he could birds unleash. And draw four cards. Okay, good. I suddenly got very worried about that. Yeah, that's annoying, but I can live with it. Took his whole turn, kills the Torn, and it's fine. You, you can't not kill the Torn, it would be dumb. Oh, you can do that, too. Wait, what? No, 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 that doesn't make any sense. No, no, why did you do that? 
it was dying anyway. Why would you get rid of a really strong card? What did you think was going to happen? Just attack it with the pig, it would have died. Uh, I hate when my opponents, like, undermine my confidence in the, their ability to play. Like, now I'm wondering if this person has ever played before, and if I'm... I mean, it's the arena, it randomizes things. I don't have all the advantages of my, my constructed decks, but it does feel unfair if I have... if I'm just, like, pounding some person who may not know how to play. I don't know what he thought that Torin Warrior was, but... 4-2 attacks it, it dies. The end. Why would you spend a card that could have reduced my Chillwind Yeti to something fragile? Okay. Ah, okay. That's more like a plan. He did need to get rid of... Uh, that's really annoying, actually, because he can use the plus one on all of them, as long as he just, like, attacks in order. He didn't have the birds combo, though, so it as much as this is very strong, I'm like, okay. Why did he use that mark? Maybe, maybe he just had, like, a brain fart or something, and he used that mark, because that was really weird. This Whereas this is a very good play. I don't know, dude. You still have problems. You, in fact, instead of killing that, you should have used three of them to kill the Yeti. So, you didn't quite think that through. Okay. He uses their cool combo. Uh, I think what we're going to do is play a Blade Master, shoot his dog. And hit him for four, because I'm way ahead. Yeah, it'd be annoying if he unleashes again and he can do four damage instead of two. Not that worried. If he was really super on the ball, he would have used three of them to kill the Yeti. And I would have had much less good stuff left. I'd have two more health, but I'd have like a 2-1 instead of a 4-5, or like a 1-1 one, one, something. Uh, that's pretty annoying. That's going to get Polymorph. You are in severe trouble. In fact, you're dead. Okay, next game. Yeah, I feel bad. I think what happened is that that's someone that just has not played the game very much. But I guess they won their first match, so... Bad matchmaking for them. Sure felt like even just from what I've seen, playing the hand that he was dealt, he could have done a lot more. He would have still had that mark. He could have marked what he unleashed. He could have killed all my stuff and had things left. Um, we're gonna get rid of the fireball. Is very good. I guess rogue. These guys are pretty strong. I'm gonna get rid of that and the arcanist because I don't know. Just hope to get better stuff. He's He's just like a dead card in the deck, unless I get lucky. He's still a minion. The fact that he's bad for the cost, unless I have a secret, is not the end of the world, but... Yeah. So, here's the thing. Should I coin and shoot that guy? I hate doing that normally, but it does kill his card. And I have twos, I have threes. I don't have a very what expensive hand. Do. Yeah. And anything else I play is just going to get worse card advantage. That only cost me the coin, which I didn't need that badly right now. You know, 
Okay, at least if I'm going to trade one of my guys for that, I'd, I'd rather trade for that guy and not for, like, the 2-1. But actually, I can play the Sunfury Protector. She'll do fine. Wasting her ability, but right now a Croc is better. Because guess what? 2-2 two, two for 2, 2-2 two, two for... or 2-3 two, for 2. That's why this is this configuration of stats is so good early in the game, in these opening plays. Okay. You did get a free bit of damage on me. Now, and this works out fine because I can play the Torn Warrior, so she can't just stab and finish mine off. And of course, if this lives to my turn, I should be able to do five damage with it. Wasting it. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's annoying. That's also annoying. Now I don't want to shoot him as much. Let's really shoot her. Yeah. We're going to do that. Because otherwise she just gets to kill him for free. And that's no good. And we're going to play this. And we're going to kill the 1-1. One, one. Probably not a useful move, but I wanted to make sure. Hitting my opponent for 2 is not really better than killing a 1-1. One, one. It does make this more fragile, but it can't be backstabbed anyway, so got a chance. Probably just going to have to trade for it. Yeah, that's fine. Sure as heck wasn't going to stab a 5-2. I might as well take the damage now. It's just going to happen eventually. Ooh. Okay, that's a little unpleasant. Huh. I think what I might do is play him, not attack. Because he, he protects this. And it's going to take a bunch of things to kill it. Yeah. I'm going to do it that way. I could also have healed her, healed it, but we're going to shoot that. These two guys together can kill this, and then she could make a new dagger and hit this, but then she takes the damage, whereas if I'd hit that, it wouldn't have done anything useful. I suppose if she attacks with this one first, then she can kill this without losing the Patriarch, so that makes sense. Assassin's Blade, or she can just kill the crap out of it. What? Why would you hit me instead of killing this? That just seems like a bad idea to me. Alright, it's up to you. I think what we're going to do is this, this, and shoot. This is pretty strong in the arena. I mean, it's not... It's, yeah, it's, it's enough stronger than her normal stabbing to make a big difference. That's annoying. That thing has to go. Okay, you have good stuff. You know, not a lot of weak cards coming out of this. I mean, I don't think too much of the 1-4 taunt, but it did just fine in the circumstances. Most of the other cards have been very strong cards. I can just barely flame strike, and I think I'm going to do it, because this she still has her bubble, and it's going to take a lot of damage to get rid of her with stabbing. So this is actually fine. It's two for one, and drastically improves my situation. Those guys both needed to die. I was going to have to trade the bubble, and... Uh, it was going to be rough. Bubble and the uh, arcane golem was my solution. That was the other way I was going to do it. Oh, okay. You have so much Azure Drake and Defias Ringleader that your deck's starting to look kind of constructed, and I don't find that very nice. Um, I can do 
this and this, which would be kind of an awesome turn, but it's not actually what I need right now, because I need to shoot this, I think. Or I can Arcane Golem kill this. I wonder. Giving her one mana at this stage probably doesn't make that much difference. She doesn't have that many cards. So Arcane Golem, kill that. Shoot this guy. That's five mana. All I'd have left is three mana. Damn it. It's not very good. Because I play the Blade Master, he's just going to die. Do? Although, she would only have left the 2-2, two -two, and I could actually kill the 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do that. Just to, to protect this guy more. I mean, now she'll just kill him with her 3 attack weapon, but she still takes 4. If for some reason he didn't die, I can do this, but, yeah. Well, that's annoying. You have so much card drawing, way more than me. It's actually probably about the same as me, but you got yours all, whereas I have not. Damn it. Oh my god, your deck is insane! How did you get this deck in the arena? You freak. It's insane. It really is. There's that your your arena deck is nuts. I wish I could play these two. I would. I can play this, this, and shoot. I think that's the best I'm gonna do, even though he's not gonna be any good. I've still got half my deck that his his partner could be hiding in. And if I do it that way, I still have her if either of these two survive like I'm thinking the Eddie, then I would be able to heal it, and that would be mm. awesome. I still have this as a surprise. So, yeah. I miscounted my mana, because I was thinking he only should have cost three. Now I can't shoot her, so that's actually really bad. Oh, I misplayed that turn horribly. Awesome. Wow, that what is horrible. Miscounting sucks. Why did I think... I don't know. I, I don't know what I did, but I thought I had enough mana to do that in this, and of course I don't. Yeah, his threes fake me out. Oh, this is so unfortunate. That was stupid, too. I should have just played the Yeti anyway, given the circumstances, because I can shoot her whenever. But she's going to trade for this, and then... Well, she might not. I mean, she might use the Yeti, but... Ow. I'm just gonna die. To be fair, this person's deck was insane for the arena. Two Defias, two Azure Drakes, a Yeti, this, like, just every... Like, eviscerated. Everything was friggin' brutal. Didn't do the trade. I don't see how... How can I stop you from doing the 8 damage, though? I could do this, this, and that, which would be good. Shooting this is very important. But you can still hit me for like five. Mm. He kills that. Shoot that. This. Or you can play this. I gain two health, but I can't play this and this and still shoot her again. No, I think we're going to do it this way. I'm almost certainly dead. But. I'm probably not dead this turn, because my opponent has no cards. She'd have to draw a card. How would I survive beyond this turn? I have no idea. She just needs a card that does one damage now. If it's a minion that not, does not charge, then I probably get to live for one turn. And... Um, that makes it very hard for me to survive. I'll give you that. Because I can heal pa I can heal two, but I'm not going to be able to heal up through the Yeti. And I can't polymorph it now. Awesome. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Eleven. I only need to be able to do two damage to finish her off. But I so can't do it. It just doesn't work. What to do? 
to do. Just demonstrating that if you hadn't been able to stealth him, I would have won. But yeah. Close does not count. This person had a ridiculous arena deck. Holy crap. No! Now here's a question. Would I have won if he was a vaporize? Eh? I don't know. So I've got a loss now. It's not that surprising. I'm just a little shocked at how good that person's deck was. Because I was... Should have been doing pretty well there. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how much farther I can get, though, next time. If you enjoyed this, please activate the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demon Knight Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.